Gosh, okay, so we're going to talk about uh, Hulu here. Streaming customers are getting ready to pay more money once again. Yes, because we are. Disney Plus going from $11 a month to 14 bucks a month. Hulu going from $15 a month to $18. Wow. The price hikes kick in this fall. So we've heard from a lot of people on this. But now we want to hear from you at home. Joe, uh, you went down to Wisconsin mm. Avenue and talked to the people out there. What did they have to say about this? Yeah, well, you know, so it was... It was Catching up to the fact that this these uh, platforms were going to cost more caught some people off guard. Yeah. Uh -huh. Other people were like, I don't care. It's better than what we used to have. <laughs> yeah. And some people thought about the future. Sure. Okay. Check it out. Is it worth it? Should we all just go back to cable? Are you willing to pay more? Or should we just sit home and watch YouTube videos and for free? YouTube videos for free. <laughs> I'm, I'm with YouTube. Can't go wrong with YouTube. Are, are, are you willing to pay more for Disney and Hulu? With inflation going on, it's, you know, uh, I'm not willing to pay. Not for them two apps specifically, no. We got rid of cable for Hulu. Okay. And Hulu has increased the price significantly every it, every couple of years. Well, let me ask you this. Do you think in five years we'll be back to where we were when cable was... Remember when we started cable and it was only... In five years, I don't think we'll have Hulu because we will have dropped it in favor of something else. <laughs> I think it's a good investment to have Hulu. When you have a very tight schedule, when you really only watch one or two shows, but cable, nah, that's the, that's ancient. Who, who do you at? Um, me. I'm on YouTube. Like, <laughs> you, you just smoked my little whole uh, life just now. <laughs> Are you willing to pay more? I'll pay more, for now. And what if they went back to the day say, well, let's bundle everything. What if we gave you Disney, Hulu, Max, Netflix, and one other thing for one big bundle? Would you? I would do that because I'm still not buying cable. If they add it all together, it's going to be the same price no, as cable. No, it's not because I'm going to have all these extra channels that I don't even watch. It's bound to be a little bit less. I don't need Hallmark. <laughs> <laughs> don't leave me hanging. We don't need Hallmark. Uh, Jacqueline was personally offended I by was. that. I love we don't need Hallmark. Yeah, you were, you were well, very upset about I, that I, I comment. But what yeah. that symbolizes is that now in America, you could choose what you want yeah. and you could choose what you pay. And that used yeah. to not be the case at all with back in the cable day. I you will say, though, I think we have too much access. And to me, it reminds me of opening up the Cheesecake Factory menu. I never know <laughs> what to get. There's like a thousand pages and, of appetizers. Yeah. And like, I open up my TV. In my opinion, this is just another way of saying, let's get back to the movie theaters. But here's the oh, dope part. There's a great wow. option but in theaters on. right now. One, one other know? thing is, but there's some people who love that Cheesecake Factory menu. Oh, there's I, some people who, look how popular Cheesecake Factory is. I love Cheesecake Factory, but don't you feel overwhelmed no. in that menu? I do. I, do. Joe, I want Joe, everything that's on it. There's here's a thousand the things. I think that you bring up the point here, right? Because it's one thing when you can just get the Hulu or you can just get the Disney, etc. But what they're doing is they're bundling these packages, yeah. just like that young lady right there said. So at the end of the day, those bundles end up being close to as much as the cable, but the cable often comes with the internet as well. You do these Hulus, yada, 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 then you end up with a second-rate internet package, and when you got children streaming movies on there, you can't have a second-rate internet. That's why I am still cable. You can still okay. count me in. I'm Spoken. old school with the cable box. Spoken like a true <laughs> dad and husband. Yeah. Also, right Disney... I think <laughs> the majority, or uh, over 50% of Hulu, anyway. Because, like, yeah. Disney owns Fox and Fox and FX, and right. I think we were just talking to someone in the newsroom that, you know, uh, Hulu still has some of their broadcast rights, but Disney is involved in Hulu. Yeah. Which is, uh, so they're basically Hulu. getting a bunch Disney of different owns things. ESPN. So what we do is we, you know, we'll, we'll sign up for Hulu for a few months until we watch all the shows yeah. we want to watch there, and then go sign up for HBO Max that's over here. That yeah. hey. And that is called the Naima effect, because right. yeah. that's what my wife has been doing for years. See, I'm a, I, my Hulu, as I, I'm on actually, weirdly enough, I'm on Hulu more than any other app at this moment okay. uh, because I'm watching It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and I'm True. also watching my, my favorite show, Dave. Yeah. There's a lot of great content on there. I also like their well, movies. I like their platform. We, have to, right. we have to wrap. Also, yeah. shameless plug, download the Fox local app. And yes. You can watch, hey, uh, you can watch yeah. all of us. So you can watch us not for free. free. All day. So, all right. For free. <laughs> we'll Who needs right any of that? Matt and shout out, exactly. out, and next. shout out to Tubi Movies. <laughs>